Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome green iguana applique block. So, so throughout the video, you're gonna see this card popping in and out. I hope it's not too distracting, but somebody has been stealing my designs lately and they're actually using my own instructional videos to sell them. And so I am uh, gonna be having this in there to make it just a little bit harder for them to steal my work. So you can get this pattern at shinyhappyworld.com. There's a link in the description below the video directly to my shop where you can get it. Here's how to make it. Okay, let's make this iguana. So this is the video showing how to do this if you do not have a light box. So I have taken all of the, I've got all the pattern pieces cut out cleanly on the solid lines, but then I have transferred all of these dotted lines and um, the placement guides are dotted lines and the mouth line is a stitching line. I have transferred those over to the fabric side of the paper. You can just, uh, I'm sorry, the fabric side of the piece. You can just hold this up into a window with the light shining behind it and you'll be able to see all of those lines showing very clearly through the fabric and then you can just transfer it to the fabric and you wanna make sure you do that before you peel the paper backing off and you lose all of those guides. So um, this is, like I said, this is the version when you do not have a light box and so the order in which you lay the pieces down isn't super critical. Uh, we are just gonna start with this, um, the main body piece. And I'm going to nestle it pretty close into the lower corner of the block. You can see this is cut with a, it's got a straight line at the back of the neck and a straight line at the bottom of the neck. And those are where it is cropped. This is, think of this as snapshot style. If you take a picture of an iguana and you zoom into his face, the rest of the body is there, it's just not showing in the photograph. So you want these to this to go down into that corner. So when we crop it, we're gonna crop it right to those edges. So, okay, we start with that. And now we're gonna put in some of his uh, little crest that he has on the top of the head. This has got a line here. I'm not sure you can see it, it might be too light. I did it with uh, chalk but there is a line at the top of this. And if you tuck this in, once it covers that chalk line, you know you've got good coverage. And this also gets cropped off on the side. So I'm going to back this up right to the same kind of straight line that the edge of the neck cut line has. So that's the, the kind of rough on the back of his neck. He's also got this kind of waddle um, under his throat. I'm not sure if they could call it that with an iguana, um, but it, it feels like a chicken waddle to me. This does not crop off the bottom, so we're gonna just tuck that under until that line is covered. There we go. And now I'm gonna put on his big eye piece and I've got a marking here showing where that goes and their eyes actually kind of stick up from their head so this is gonna bump up there then I've got the whites of his eyes and that's gonna go where that is marked and then he's got a pupil just a little black circle or almost circle and that sits where it is marked and then he has an eyelid and I like how this gives him kind of a sleepy sleepy look and that just covers up all those lines and looks great so this is a version that I'm doing that's bright green this is actually called a green iguana um, but they look different. They, they can change colors to a, like a reddish orange and also to kind of a bluish gray. But this is the version I did in bright green. And I used, um, this is, these are the Peridot blenders from the Gemstones collection. I really wanted a very, very bright, kind of slightly yellowy green for this guy. So the last two pieces here are just his spots. And I cut them so that the, 
the stripes on that fabric would go in kind of different directions. So there's, oh, wait, I am missing his nostril. So I have a little um, black nostril here. And that has also got a line showing right where it goes. All right, so that is all the pieces in place. Now I'm gonna carefully lift this up, take it over to my ironing board, fuse everything in place, just follow the directions of whatever brand of fusible adhesive you are using. I use heat and bond light in all of my quilts. And then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and do all the outline stitching around the edges. And then I will bring it back here and show you the finished block and also show you some versions I did in some other colors. All right, here is one of the finished iguanas. I made them in a few different colors. So this is the one that uses the Peridot blenders for the green iguana. That's from the Gemstones Fabric Color, Colette, color Palette. And the background block is also from the Gemstones Palette. This is from the Light Gemstones Collection of quilt blocks that are, they already have the quilting lines printed on them. So it's super easy for you to just follow along the lines to do the quilting. So here's some other colors that I did for the green iguana. It turns out that sometimes green iguanas are actually kind of a reddish orange and so I did a reddish orange version. So on this one most of the the darker reds are from the Fox Blenders collection and the lighter one the lighter brown ones are from the Grizzly Blenders collection. Both of those are in the Animal Kingdom collection. So that's a color palette that is all kind of natural animal colors. It's browns and grays and kind of rusty reds and kind of golden tawny yellows. And the background block is also from the Animal Kingdom collection. This is one of the lighter ones, the light palette. And these are also the quilt blocks that have all of the lines already printed on them. And here's one more version. So sometimes green iguanas are actually blue. They're usually a little more gray than blue. It's just kind of a bluish gray, but I decided to go it all in on the blue on my version. So all of these blues are from the Blueberry Blenders collection, which is part of the Farmer's Market color palette. And the background block on this one is another one of those quilted, one of those blocks that is has got the quilting lines already pre-printed on it. But this one is from the classic rainbow collection. It's just like a pure bright purple. And this is from the dark classic rainbow um, color palette. So you would get a yard of fabric with all different dark rainbow colors and they all have different lines printed on them that you can use for your quilt blocks. So that is how you make this iguana. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. The pattern, like I said, is available at shinyhappyworld.com. There's a link in the description below. Here, I hope you have fun with it. I'm Wendy and I will see you next time.